Hey, um, so last week when we did that, um, subscriber questions, one thing that came up was, what are my favorite characters for the Naruto series? I gave my number one, and this is my top ten, um, characters. I kind of just threw this together real quick, so it's not really thought out, um, necessarily, but, um, these were my favorite characters that whenever they were on screen... I literally was the only thing I cared about was was them. Um, so number ten is Karama. The reason why he's number ten and not way 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 higher is because he we don't see a whole lot of him, especially during Baruto or any of the movies or any of that. I mean he's he's funny. He's he's hilarious. First off, um, um, just really cool character. Just really calm. Just I absolutely love Karama. It's just he's not doesn't show up until much, much later into the series as uh, kind of a helper to the protagonist of Naruto. Um, my number nine is Asuma. Asuma was a great character, another one that just suffered from not being in the show that long. Uh, he was a great, great, great character, though. Um, badass, uh, good teacher. Uh, that training with Naruto, just giving him tips was cool. Um, his fight with Hidan was... I did not see that coming, man. I remember when he first died, I was just like, whoa. And then as an Edo Tensei, it was just kind of unnecessary, but I, I get it. Um, but he was definitely one of my favorites, especially with him being the uh, son of the Rokage. And that was pretty cool. Uh, Shikamaru. Yeah, definitely. Number eight. Um, you know, I'm going to get to that story that he did in, um, it's like a novel or whatever. I'm definitely going to get to that just when I have the time. Of course, um, but yeah, I really, really like Chikamaro. His geniusness, uh, his lines, the way he delivers everything, it's just really good. You know, Chikamaro is just a really great character to have um, in the series sprinkled out. He doesn't need to be in every episode, but, you know, even Baruto, he definitely makes a big difference on the episodes that I've seen. I mean, I've only seen up to episode 41 because, you know, fuck the last couple episodes, but yeah. And my number seven, Naruto, the character. Now, the reason why he's number seven in, like, the series called Naruto, why is he number seven? Man, he is, he's such a dreamer, and, like, you you want to back him up, but the only time I really felt emotional connections was when he met, he met his father, oops, he met his mom, and he, you know, found out Jiraiya and Kakashi died in the pain arc. And, and the Sasuke arc, and, you know, there were just little parts, but the entire war, I mean, most of that stuff, it's like, man, why are you trying to save Obito? Why, why are you trying to, you know, we'll get to Obito later, but, I mean, I don't know, I, he had a lot of problems. Uh, my number six is Jiraiya, I mean, how could you how could you not like Jiraiya? Jiraiya was a great character, I'm glad they didn't bring him back with that Otenze, but it would have been really, really interesting um, for Naruto to have seen him and been like, holy shit, you know, you're, you're alive? Um... Or, well, I mean, brought back. Um, but, yeah, definitely Dry would have been a great character to have brought back. Um, but definitely, absolutely great character. Went out in a great way. The books, man, I remember the first time the pain arc happened, and they related the books back to, you know, Nagato, um, Dry, and Minato, and Kushina. Those four people basically named Naruto, which was really, really cool. Um, definitely a great way um, to as callback. Uh, my number five is Obito Uchiha. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Why is he in your top five? Well, I always really liked Obito. And if this list was longer, he would be probably further back there. Um, but Obito is just a really favorite character of mine. We see a lot of screen time with him. I love drawing I love drawing him when he had the mask and he's Toby. You know, it's just, he was just so cool, so epic. I actually thought he was modern back in the day. I know, what an idiot. Um, but I just really, 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 really liked Obito, man. Except I just didn't like the Rin thing, and I didn't like some of the flashbacks. But, I mean, as a villain, you know, he was okay. I didn't like him turning as a hero. I wanted him to go out like Nagato did, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers again. Um, number four is Madara, the original Madara, the original OG. He took down everybody. <laughs> he literally took down everybody. I don't think if Kishimoto had tried a 1v1... I don't think he was going to be able to, to, to anyone was going to stop Madara. He was just too powerful at the time, too godly, just just too too much of a beast, honestly. Um, 
but yeah, my number three is Itachi Uchiha. I know I all three Uchiha's in a row. I know. I just really like the Itachi, uh, the Itachi arc, uh, the, the pursuit arc, the Itachi versus Sasuke uh, the, ugh, when he's back as an Endo Tensei. So many moments when it came to Itachi more than anyone, I actually felt for more than all the other characters. Um, his filler arc, um, the Kakashi. I guess you can say it's filler, um, Ambu Black Ops. That was really good, though, um, I, in my opinion, except for that tree thing. Um, but, yeah, Itachi was such a great character, and every every time they bring him up, you know, fans just love him, and um, the, you can see why. Um, my number two is Nagato Uzumaki. Uh, Nagato was by far, without a doubt, other than Madara, the best um, best villain. He had the philosophy, he had this great philosophy, um, for a villain. Um, he had this great delivery. Both the dub actor and the, uh, sub actor were really good for, um, well, I actually like the Nagato sub, um, actor more than the dub, and I kind of vice versa. I like the dub actor for the pain, the Nagato. But anyways, Nagato was a great, great character. He was actually like it's the great sibling student to Naruto. I never would have seen that coming in a million years. I never figured out the pain. I mean, I was just really, really, really excited for when that happened, man. And that fight with Naruto was the best ever. Then when his fight with B, uh, is honestly should be on there. So some honorable mentions that I probably should say is Killer B. Um, I really, really enjoyed him, man. His rapping and all that stuff, just awesome. Awesome character, uh, Sugetsu. How can you not? Where can you go wrong? Um, I was gonna say Mitsuki, but I think I'll save that for Baruto only characters, which will be a much, much smaller list since there isn't that many good characters. Um, I, you know, I thought about it. well, obviously Kakashi, like you know, without a doubt. Um, but I, I thought about this for a while, and you know. I, I actually liked uh, Sakura, and to a degree, I mean, she was useless at times and stuff, but, you know, it's like, okay, you know, she's actually, now that she's married to Sasuke, it's just, it's, it's whatever. Um, but anyways, my number one choice, as you know, as you've known throughout my videos, Sasuke, Mr. Sasuke, because he's just a beast. And his whole Taka team is ridiculously cool and all that. Um, yeah, so until I make another one of these um, videos, you know, on Fridays we'll do more of these um, fireside chats. <laughs> like uh, Teddy Roosevelt, um, or Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Um, but yeah, we'll, I'll try to make more of these videos that are, that are kind of like this in the future. Um, every other Friday anyways. Um, but yeah, till, till then, uh, everyone out there have a great night, day.